Well, what's going on you guys? I get asked this question a lot. Does higher octane gas give me better fuel mileage? Um, no. No, it doesn't. Um, if your car only requires uh, 80, I think it's 87 or higher, it's not going to give you better gas mileage. I know high altitude places, sometimes they have an 81 and it can cause your engine to knock. Uh, it's called spark knock. So what is 93 or high octane, what's it for? It's for high compression engines. It needs a higher compression to detonate so you don't have pre-detonation. It's very volatile. Um, so if you have a high performance car and you're putting 93 octane or higher in it, that's what it's supposed to run. But if you put a lower octane in it, it can compensate for that to keep it from knocking. Now, if your vehicle calls for you know, 87 and you put 93 on it, it it's not going to do what a high performance car does. It's not going to automatically give you better gas mileage. Now, will it make your car run better? It depends on the weather, depends on the altitude. It does not, does not give you better fuel mileage. So, if we look at this, most of the time it'll tell you on your gas cap, which I don't think, no, mine doesn't. But it does say right here, let me see that, E10, E15. What that means is 10% to 15% ethanol. And ethanol is an alcohol, basically like what beer is made out of. I don't recommend running that at all, unless it is an absolute dire emergency and there's no gas stations nearby, because your fuel mileage will go down big time. So, look at my owner's manual. My truck is dirty, guys. I am so sorry. My owner's manual states, and I'm going to read it, and then I'll turn the camera around so you can see it. Fuel quality. Choosing the right fuel. Your vehicle is designed to operate on regular unleaded gasoline with a minimum pump octane rating of 87. Some fuel stations, particularly those in high altitude areas, offer fuels posted as regular unleaded gasoline with an octane rating below 87. The use of these could result in engine damage that will not be covered by warranty. For best overall vehicle and engine performance, premium fuel with an octane rating of 91 or higher is recommended. The performance gained by using premium fuel is most noticeable in hot weather, as well as other conditions, for example, when towing. So just normal driving around the city or taking a trip down the highway, it's not gonna make it perform any better. It's not gonna give you better fuel mileage. If you're towing, then yes. Or if it's really hot outside, yes. Even the Chevrolet Tahoe with the 5.3 direct injected engine, we had a problem with these on police cars and you're gonna, it's gonna be crazy. So, they had a problem with shutting off when it was really hot outside. And the reason that is, is the fuel was evaporating before it ever got to the fuel rail. Or was actually evaporating in the fuel rail. So basically the, the injector is just squirting air or just fuel vapors. It's not atomizing the fuel. So what was Chevrolet's fix for this? Well, they tell you in the TSB, run a higher octane gas in it park it in the shade and don't idle it for so long. That was the reason for the higher octane gas. It's not giving better fuel mileage or gas mileage. It's just trying to help it perform better. That is a myth. Does not give you better fuel mileage, okay? And here's the second part. I had a subscriber reach out to me and ask me, hey, I got gas at this gas station and this is the one I usually go to, but I was almost out of fuel or whatever and I had to go to a different gas station. Is that going to affect my vehicle's performance or is it going to affect the quality of fuel? And the answer to that is no. As long as it's something like a Shell, a Kangaroo gas station like we have here, a BP, a Marathon, a Hess, a Pilot Flying J, you know like the big name brand ones. These companies, it all comes in on a pipeline and then it gets put into the tanker and that's where the additive package gets added into it. Uh, Bethylene, uh, toluene, and there's like two other ones I don't remember off the top of my head. So these lower mom and pop shops, um, they get their gas from certain areas, but depending on how much it costs per barrel or, or whatnot, what they're getting it at, 
Um, it may not have as much additives in it as a top tier gasoline like Shell or anything like that. So if you went to a Shell gas station and then you went to a Marathon or, or a BP gas station, it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to affect you. They, they have pretty good detergents and additives in their fuel. So with that being said, here is two, two tips for better gasoline. Like I said, go to a top tier gas station. Do not get fuel while the fuel tanker is there filling up the tanks. The reason that is, is because when they're putting fuel in those tanks in the ground, I'm sorry if it's noisy, it is stirring a bunch of crap up. Okay? You don't want that. Wait for the tanker to leave or go to another gas station. Number two, do not get fuel when it is hot outside. You want to get fuel when the temperature, ground temperature is cold, preferably early in the morning or late in the evening. That way, because when you're putting it in your vehicle, a lot of it evaporates, so you're not getting more for your money. You want to get more for your money, do it early in the morning or later in the afternoon or in the evening when the temperature is lower. I hope that helps you. Oh, and one other thing. Um, forgot where I was going with this. Oh yeah, like I said, don't get it. Don't get it when the fuel tanker is filling up and get it early in, or later in the evening. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I thought there was another one, but if if I do come up with another one, I forgot what it was, I'll, I'll drop it down in the comments down there. So I hope this helps you guys, and I appreciate it. And you guys, please share this video so other people can get that myth of higher octane fuel gives me better MPGs. Please spread the word, okay? I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.